Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Unlucky Specialist Podcast. Yours truly, Sam Torres. And your boy, Jeff Dippin, a.k.a. Aboard the SS Memphis Minnow. Johnson. No, Middle <laughs> Middle Johnson. We got Matt back in the cut. And of course, as always, Jason fucking Enrique is in AKA. the studio for episode 210. Fellas. Ooh. 210. You know, I, w- I was going to bring a little bit of sh- champagne, but. But you brought a charcuterie board. I brought that some, fucking some gabagool, some fucking some salami, some gabagool. You know, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos. I haven't been watching enough Sopranos. I, 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 it's like a kind of comfort kind of show for me, which is weird. You know, there's a lot of death and lies and <laughs> cheating going death on. Death, lies, therapy. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, how you guys doing? How is your guys' week? How is everything going? I don't know. We're back in the cut. What, what, what do you guys, guys got to say? I think it's pretty good, man. I mean, I can't complain, you know. Same old, same old, some, some work, some, some work, some not partnered up with Penske at work. Now we're renting their trucks. Oh, what? Get a little, get a little, get a little, 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 get a little right side there. money off that too. So, yeah, yeah. you know, a little Penske. expansion. Is that, nice. I, want, I always wondered if that, but that was a Pennsylvania. It company. is. It's, they're based out of Pittsburgh. <laughs> I don't know. I always, you know, Penn. I don't know. Yeah, they're Ski. fucking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got their tentacles in like the whole fucking transportation For industry, sure. bro. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, now I'm I'm holding on to that tentacle. <laughs> you're, you're holding on to one tentacle. One tentacle. That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the update the for me. Of, uh, that, of everything you do, you do. Yeah. This. Uh, survived the hurricane. Survived Hurricane Hillary. <laughs> I went to the Rams Raiders game on Saturday, which was fucking amazing. Um, my first ever NFL game. We tailgated. We went the homies. How was the tailgate? That was awesome. That was fun. Like you guys, like there's a, a a bunch of people with canopies. Their trucks out. They got their. Some of them have like real grills and like like whole fucking things going on. Or other people have those little like camping grills on their on on their literally uh tail uh, the, the 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 back of their the, the truck. You know the actual tailgate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Tailgate. That, fuck. I, I froze up on what's all the, the gabagool, bro. Oh, yeah, we ate a lot of gabagool. <laughs> Too much salami, bro. Um. Anyways, the, we we made sliders and and like. So you were dogs. legitly tailgating. Like you brought like your own shit. We yeah. brought our own shit. We 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 brought our own alcohol. We brought our own. Like the the dude had his own. The, my, the homie had his own like menu. Like he's like, we're gonna do sliders and we're gonna do L.A. street dogs. So bacon wrapped. Was this the, the Pushing Burgers people? Yeah, Pushing uh, hey, the homie Tito. You had, Shout out to uh, Pushing Burgers. You had your own personal Pushing Burgers experience. Right yeah, there. yeah, I, and I was working the grill too. Me, hey. like, we uh, we had the the whole onions and peppers. You know how they had. You know when you come out of a, a concert or a fucking game, there's always those people outside. Hot dog, hot dog. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hot dog. Like, <laughs> and. And if it's not one person, you're gonna find another person five feet away from them. A hundred percent. They're like <laughs> all around. And you know what though? Sometimes they come I, in the clutch. Like I don't know why people are like, oh, I've heard, I've actually come out of concerts or things, and people say, oh, I don't know why these people are here. Like it makes it makes L.A. look bad. Like what the fuck? Who yeah. said that? I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> it makes L.A. look bad. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, what, what are you, their you're names? not from here, are you? And what what are their names? And, and, and where are they employed? Also, let's, let's expose these. Their people name for is who they are. is is the big home girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do that sound, bro. <laughs> I don't know how she does. I, it. I can't roll my R's Serio like that. Way. Serio. See, I can't even Serio do it. Way. it. Just comes off naturally. Yeah, me. it's just like a practice thing. Yeah, she talks like that. But yeah, no, no, uh, we had all that like. Street dog shit. That it was good. Bacon wrapped. Bacon wrapped. Oh. And did you uh, get that? Did you have the grilled onions? Though? For sure. We had the grilled onions Ooh. and grilled peppers. Did you get the ma- mayonnaise? The mayonnaise. You, you you and it was like the big dogs. It wasn't no fucking like little wimpy ass Dodger dog. Were you so like ball, making, it was ma- the ballpark Franks? The, ma- the, it was. I bet he got those at Costco. You know those fucking fat like. You, you know, like oh, it was like the the <laughs> bratwurst that power. It was. Oh, and we also had bratwurst. We also, he had also had brats like Damn. brats, brats. So that sounds know, delicious. It was fucking amazing. And best of all were the with the sliders because you know he's his his thing his business is pushing smash bur- burgers, pushing burgers, bro. 
So he made sm- somewhat smashed sliders, and it was amazing. That sounds delicious. It was, it was, I'm sad. And he had onions at the bottom, and he smashes them on top. The other thing on top, like well, and, Oklahoma and, smash and ma- mandolin cut like onions, like so, like thin, so they kind of like, like melt into the burger. Oh, sorry, guys. watering. Already. I know. Sorry, it sorry. Really I had to. I had to Sam, you know, <laughs> I know. now I'm hungry and was, again. And it was just a lot, a lot of you know, liquor going around people and Raider fans. Uh, um, no how to party. No, that, that's true. But against like popular belief or, or uh, the, they're really nice mm. people. They're really nice. People. So you're saying it's a stereotype. No, it's a stereotype. A lot of people are saying, oh, uh, you know, hey, how many felonies do you have if you're a fucking uh, Raiders fan or all this shit? Like you're just only to, two. You know exactly. Oh, that's got to be the minimum. <laughs> but no, these people were like ama- like fun, nice people, just like hanging out, just having a good time. We were around like a bunch of Raider fans during the game. The the Raiders beat the Rams, and it was all fun. Like that's why it was all fun because they won. Hot Maybe. take, hot take. People with felonies usually the chillest because they don't want to go back. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> debatable, it's, debatable. It, there's, it's debatable. There's 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 some percentages on that for sure. You know, recidivism we'll have, we'll being what it is. But you know, that's definitely listen, a hot take. You, you, you meet you meet some, some homies data. around the way, bro, and they've like been a couple times. They'll tell you themselves. I don't like it's whack. Like I don't want to go there. Oh, I don't yeah. want to go back. Yeah. It's whack. So they're yeah. usually kind of bro. You out. know what though? I will say like one of my like biggest guilty pleasures. It's felonies, like, no, felonies, felonies. <laughs> committing <laughs> sanity, <laughs> committing crimes, dog, tax fraud, like committing crimes, crimes, dog, crimes, crimes. No, uh, is watching fucking like those like prison, prison doc- fights, prison documentaries, <laughs> oh shit, prison fights. Yeah, I guess they're on that shit. It's That's like like when fight. they go to like fucking like Angola State Prison. Oh, Sixty yeah. days in is my shit. That was the shit where they would like put like actual like random civilians into the prison yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. they had to go in and they each had a task and shit. Yeah. That show was crazy. 60 days in. It's great. It's fantastic. Is it still going on? Uh, they have yeah, to stop I, that I shit. Did they know. though? Did they? Someone oh, pro- yeah. someone probably got shanked, bro. Nah, nah. I don't know. Probably. I'm pretty sure those people, pe- like the, the inmates knew. They had to be in on so, it. Yeah. So inmates. It's like, like reality TV. No, the thing is they can like really the raider to inmate inmate pipeline you know they can smell bs from like a mile away that's the only thing like so if you try to bs with them like they'll kind of like get a sense that something is real fishy like super fast like when like nat geo would like do like the fucking just like they would go to different prisons i don't even know it was nat geo but it was like it would be on nat geo Mm -hmm. or like on history channel and shit now it's all on youtube it's like oh history channel san quentin yeah, dude, San Quentin just became like I mean, fuck San Quentin, uh, fucking uh, History Channel just became like aliens and fucking fuck reality yeah, TV, TV. Yeah. or ghosts. You know what I mean? Yeah, aliens ghosts and cha- ghosts. Dude, that shit has like twelve seasons. Yeah, they never found the ghost, ghost adventure. <laughs> Sixty we... days in is still going. Oh wow! Ooh. Yeah, what's it on? Eight, on? eight seasons deep. No, it's on Netflix. There's I don't know a couple on Netflix. Probably yeah. the most current is on like A and E or A and E. Yeah, yeah oh, it's on season eight. Damn, wow. I would never be on that show. No. Yeah, I would never. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think care I would how last. much. I don't think any of us would just It's really like, here's your mission. Thrive. I don't care how much you pay me. It, first, they go to county jails, which is like not like fucking state prison, but it's, it's still It's a crazy. step down from state. It's still yeah. crazy, it's down, though. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's like infiltrate the fuck and like find out who's smuggling in hotcakes. Shit. <laughs> like Straight honey buns. Yeah. Who's like smuggling in the honey buns? Yep. See if our like uh, our offer our COs are like crooked or whatever. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's like shit like that. But it's great because these people are just straight up in jail with whoever else is there, and they have to like throw down integrate themselves. And yeah, they had if, to, yeah, yeah. If need be, you know they. Yep. They or there was maybe that one don't episode have to get down, but they do sometimes. There's yep. this one episode where that guy he's like a pastor now. 
That guy's like, my favorite. He was with the Latin Kings. Yeah, he was like an ex Latin King. That guy's the dude, bro. And like he was going back to he went back to the to the jail like for the sixty days and shit. And like you could tell he was like re- like turning back into that yeah. inmate. Like oh, he started I remember like that he one. started like almost like running the pod yeah, and shit. Yeah, he started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just went back into his old. He had role. to. He basically left right because he's like, bro, I'm turning back into this. No, guy. so what happened was like another participant basically like ratted him out like this this like black guy who oh was, who he was, was a, a cop yeah, 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 he's yeah. like oh oh this guy oh that's my boy like oh we're boys you know what i mean which which put him in danger right, right up so they had to like Pull extract the both of them because yeah. that guy was deeply in bed he like went straight back to his enforcer role right with like the hispanic clique in the gangs and he was kind of helped like you know run the program there basically right 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 it was Damn. it was great though that that was I think like was that was six. good that shit was pretty good yeah he was, was a former good. latin kings member and he's a pastor now yeah and he got his uh like his his king's crown like oh, yeah. Added oh yeah, over, yeah, yeah yeah but they were pressing him on it in the jail and they were like this dude used to be this dude runs with the latin kings like you know he's not he's not telling us the truth but the funny thing is as long as you like still fit in, like they don't necessarily right. care. care. Yeah. Like until they find out you're straight up lying, they don't usually care. And the other guy, the guy that ratted him out, he immediately got like credit because he was kind of yoked. Like he was kind of mm, yeah. built. So like the main guy in the jail who like had his own TV to watch, who would like run drugs. But that dude was like fat, right? That he, was was big, big he was a big, he was a, he looked like a black um, kingpin. Like he was like Suge Knight. Like he was just, <laughs> He was just big and he was in there for like running drugs and he used to have like a, a that's like literally a, who he looked DEA like DEA agent connect right wow and he had his own like his tv like that tv whatever was on it was just for him like and nobody else messed yeah. with him. he was a top dog and he was like a pretty laid back dude like it's not county jail like yeah yeah it was county it wasn't like the the main thing mm-hmm. but like he was kind of like not necessarily running things but he had his own space no one was out. fucking with him exactly basically. so so like the cop guy that was like integrated who volunteered for the program he was telling the cop guy straight away like hey you got a lot more power than than like you think you got so it's right. like really interesting because it's like just almost purely based on the fact that this guy's like pretty it's totally big like right, right. back like in the wild type yeah, of shit as long as you can hold your own in jail or you look like you can hold your own in jail like you like you're gonna be good you know what i mean like you it's uh, there's a lot of psychological factors at play i'm for sure. sure and i've never been there i'm just you know going. Off you're not saying show, from right? first person experience exactly. yeah you know what i mean but exactly you know it's a funny take on that in terms of the, the prison shit it's, it's this uh, show on tiktok and instagram called flip landia it's basically what? it's basically like uh Sesame Street and the Muppets, but they're like it's called uh uh, uh Barrio Sesamo. What? Y, y, y los Muppets. Like it's basically they're, they're like beef it's like basically like Southsiders and like North yeah, Daniels yeah. and shit and like uh Big Bird, they call him Big Pajaro. And he's like he's like in fucking prison, bro. But like that's how I brought it up because he's big as fuck, and he's like big bottle. He's like all oh, yoked <laughs> like yeah, this. Dude. He's wearing his like looks. What's and it called? Fliplandia. Fliplandia or Flippilandia or Fliplandia or some shit yeah. on TikTok. TikTok and Instagram. Oh my god! And then, but it's just funny because like the the big bottle character, he's like. Like, you could tell the guy who makes this, like, little cartoon is, like, super, like, he knows, like, the fucking archetype, the archetype right. of the guy. Because yeah. like, he's, like, big bottles. He's, like, super introspective. He's, like, if only I would have been at home. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and drinking one, and stole one of my dad's, ch- no, one of my jefe's chelas, like, instead of being out in la calle. <laughs> like, it's, like, I would have been too tired. I would have been working with my tío. Yeah. But I had to be out in the street, and like he like shoots a guy with a platano. Like, oh my god! And like, what, and like one of his like main enforcers is is what Count Dracula. Oh, oh, Count Dr- <laughs> and, he's, and so he like he stabs people. One, no, he stabs. He's like beating people up. He's like a one, a two. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I need to watch this. Yo, he's got a back tat that says. Birds of a feather shanks together. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like Barrio Sesamo, and he's. Be- 
That's awful. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that food looks dangerous, bro. Big bot hat right there. I may be in prison, but my nest will always be in Barrio Sesa. Damn. Oh my god. Look, he's got the eyebrows too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god! And then he starts like beat like basically the whole. You guys should watch it, but the whole show, like the whole little show, starts off with basically like Kermit. Mm. They call him Big Rana, oh and then my like god. he's he gets fucking basically like he he's dating obviously Miss Piggy, and right. like her whole shit is that like she's kind of a trola, but they're like, how how are you gonna be dating a puerca? Our her family is puercos. <laughs> like then all her family is a whole bunch of cops. <laughs> 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 and then like so they basically like someone like kills big rana like they find him in a garbage can uh. with a cookie so they think it's like cookie monster yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh they start beating God. up cookie I'm monster i'm already bought in i know right <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is like the mexican wire like Dude, it's so <laughs> it it's funny but it's like really good yeah. like, I'm like, <laughs> like they really wrote into this like, shit yeah. stories in the why do we think really of this hitting. shit guys because uh, we're not fucking big creative rana's? we're not fucking, <laughs> we're not about that life we're, we're not big rana's we're not here. big pajaro and big rana's bro <laughs> i went to private school we no, did. but that <laughs> that show is hilarious. That's definitely a it, it, it goes back into my like like to watch like prison based shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how we got into the this Raiders, bro. Raiders. Ra Raiders. There you go. That's how we got into it. Raiders. Prison equals Raiders. Th no, you're saying that stereotype is not true. No, no. The, the, family the, friendly the, the very Raider family friendly. tailgate. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Point of this all, all this was it was very. Was fun. SoFi dope though? So okay, so I had a uh, uh, misconception of SoFi. So when I went there for the only time I went there was for the Bad Bunny concert. I was like way up in the fucking. Mm, so you had already been there. Yeah, once before. So it's it's nice. It's, I, I, the, the stadium was beautiful, but I was like, the concession stand food was trash. Mm. Way up there, the pizza was cold when they gave it to you. Dang. The the hot dogs were just like tasted Dang. like cardboard. Like it wasn't good. You know what I mean? Like n nothing tasted good there. I go I go to there because there was their season ticket holders. I go to their seats and it's like in the not the lower bowl, but like on the main floor. Like if you just walk in and like just go up their stairs to like to the thing, that's the main floor. Um, The food there was amazing. They had some good shit. They had some really good shit. So it kind of changed my mind about the whole the whole stadium. That was, that was the only thing I had. The stadium is beautiful. The fucking uh, it was supposed to be the Oculus, but it's not anymore because they're not sponsoring it. But the the ring in the middle is just like crazy to see everything on there. The the it was kind of cold and and like because it was Hillary was coming. It was Saturday night. Hillary was and, coming. You know yeah. what I mean? And and so like the 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 dome, I don't know, clear glass ceiling thing that they have over there was pretty cool. Like all all that, it, it was it was awesome. Like yeah, I had no complaints. Super fun, like a great time. I, so, I'd recommend. So what you're saying is SoFi is super classist. As long as you've got the money, it's a good experience. Yeah. But if you're in the nosebleeds, prepare to for a suck fest. That's why Dodger Stadium is the best shit. LA stadium. Well, I, it's all pretty well rounded. Obviously, there's better things in certain areas, but it's all pretty well, well rounded. That's true. Dodger dogs are trash. No, I'm saying the I mean, like but the, they're trash for everybody though. Yeah, like, that's true. The, you're right. There's, you're right. There's equality, even if you're in, in equity, even if you're and in how the, fucking dare you? That's a hot take, bro. That's a really hot. The take. new hot, Jeff. I like the Dodger dog. The new Dodger the dogs. The new one, Jeff. You are in the minority Sam. here. It's not even a hot take. Your hot take is that you like them. Give yeah, us, I, give us a rundown. What? What's? What's the? What is that? Farmer here? John. They changed from Farmer John to Farmer Ass. Farmer, <laughs> farmer culo, farmer cu big culo. <laughs> Started <laughs> making the dodge dogs. No That's way. not the homie, big culo, bro. You gotta really get away from big culo. Oh, you, you better stop talking bad about big culo. <laughs> That's why he hears about it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they did no, switch it from Farmer John, though. <laughs> and the thing is, and that's though, when they started tasting. Ta I didn't think it was uh, like that. It's all psychological, no, bro. It's, not. it's all psychological. Are you like bro. burping up? You know, these new you know how I know like it's not. Later, you know how I know it's not. Smart and final. <laughs> Smart and final would used to sell Dodger dogs. So towards the end of all thing, they had this like massive like, like like load of still of dodger dogs made by farmer john so they were selling them mm -hmm. and i tried it 
and I had gone to a Dodger game, and I'd say the difference, and it's way better. The ones that 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 uh, Farmer John. We need to do a taste test. We do. What do they call? Gotta be out. What are the farmer? What are the Farmer Johns called? They're called Dodger Dogs. They're They're still called Dodger Dogs. No, no, they don't sell them anymore. But when they were, they probably still sell a version of it. Maybe it's probably called like Ballpark Dog. But they had to be long and skinny. Yeah, yeah, super long. Pause. (laughs) (laughs) Long and skinny. It's like when fucking like you know how like Mace and, and Cameron have that podcast, yeah. and then like they're like asking him like, oh, like who's the you are the best Celtic of all time? He's like, nah, I can't say that. And then like Cameron's like, oh, uh, are you the are you better than Jason Tatum though? You gotta say that. He's like, man, I can't lie, man. Jason Tatum kind of hard. And then <laughs> Mace is like, hey, Nick yeah. Paul. <laughs> Paul Pierce starts cracking up. He's like, what the fuck? I love that they've been giving Paul Pierce so much shit about his shit game. His shit game? Like the game that he got uh, 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 wheeled out. because people his, thought oh, that His he, actual poop game. Yeah, people thought people thought that he shit his pants. That's what happened, right? No, no. no, no he no. said that. That's the rumor. That's that, the rumor. But, they, but the initial thought was that he like broke his spleen or something because he was like grimacing <laughs> no like, what's his like excuse now out. like what's his excuse i don't, I don't know. even he's, know what it was well the whole yeah. thing i remember like they're like oh my god pop pierce's career is over he's getting wheeled out then he just comes back he all comes yeah back, like and everyone's like he just needed to take a shit immediately like <laughs> maybe he did break his spleen have you ever have you ever held in a huge have you ever held in a shit so much he took the greatest deuce of his life have you ever held in a shit so much that it hurt yeah yeah for sure classic move that's why that's how i know it's real like <laughs> yeah. like i've been in a place i've been on this podcast Damn. <laughs> where i'm like jeff is going in and i'm like my fucking urethra is about to explode shout out to episode piss. 121 <laughs> shout out to episode 2209 no <laughs> but these <laughs> but these points must be made you know what i mean <laughs> And Sam's like, like, I gotta go. I'm like, no. I'm, like, I'm looking at Jeff giving him fire. He's like, wrap it goes, up. You know wrap what it I mean? up. Like, it's about to go I'm back eight. into my kidneys. <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's not going to go back. I've got a kidney half full of fucking uh, kidney stones. So, you know exactly. what I mean? It's just going to be bouncing back it's and forth. It's about to dislodge here. some of those mobos. <laughs> you know? Damn. But I, I feel it. I've, I've been there. I've been in that kind of like. You, you gotta I go. know we've you all got, been there if, where I, if it's, I it's, it's just hit you all at once though like that's the thing yeah. like it's not those ones where you gotta go it's the ones where you were just having a, a you're, fine you're and dandy sweating. time two minutes ago <laughs> and then like it you feels know? like you're being stabbed in like the midsection repeatedly. I wish somebody would wheel me out of here like on a wheelchair you <laughs> know what I mean so, <laughs> F- fucking insert a foley and I can just shit and piss Sam, and you need to go we'll put you on this chair <laughs> right? do we need <laughs> right coming soon to a podcast near you the commode chair <laughs> you, <laughs> won't even, you won't even you know. Even, you, would, you only see half up. You Unlucky know, special. All you're going to hear is like a, Wow, they got a stream in the back. That's you a know? terrible <laughs> idea. Sam, <laughs> Sam's eyes are going to be twitching. He's just going to be like. I'm just gonna go awkwardly quiet for some moments. It's like the commode chair. The bro. commode chair. <laughs> That's literally the worst idea ever. The about. podcast commode. How it's, is this the worst idea he ever could make? I mean, taking a shit in it's b- terrible. But if you like, just gotta pee real quick. Like, what, what's more you, American than taking a dump in front of your friends? NASCAR drivers do it, <laughs> right? Do you they? Know? Yeah, they pee in their suits. I heard they, <laughs> they, I heard they, they pee sweat in their like suits. eight yeah. pounds. Do they even have to pee? They yeah, do. Well, they're, they're drinking the whole time. They have like the the whole like the Gatorade set up. Yeah, like, right but I heard they're like suits? losing yes. like eight pounds of sweat. Like that's like a fucking unknown fact. I think. no, that is a very known fact. Look up. Sorry, I don't mean I to tell say you. Very, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's known. They, dude, NASCAR drivers pee in their suits. They don't stop to. Pee. Do, do, it's like 500 yes. laps. But what if hydrated. you don't need to pee? They're athletes. You, they have Jeff, to be hydrated. We're drinking. You know how much we're drinking out of We're drinking a shit ton of beer. What if they got beer? The fucking- <laughs> they're drinking a driver and peeing? <laughs> Those bush light cars are just like, that's why they're swerving a little bit. <laughs> what does it say? Yeah, they will urinate in their suits. Yeah. Fucking A. I need yeah. that suit. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna wear, wear, the, I'm gonna wear, wear those the, suits on the it just, podcast. It just is a lucky specialist, and <laughs> we're you, just going. We're just so, fucking pissing. If, if, <laughs> no dear, breaks. Dear no audience, breaks. if you if you see Je- if you see Jeff and Sam in racing jackets next week, you know what we're doing. <laughs> they're peeing you know their we're, pants. You know we're pissing <laughs> on. We're pissing on purpose. <laughs> they're, they're that, that, that's gonna be a new promotion for like a uh, I don't know. Uh, 
They're they're Ooh. testing the they're testing the no drip on the khakis on, on the doctors. What's what's Movember about again? No shave. It's about it's testicular, testicular cancer. cancer. Uh, huh? Peeing on purpose. <laughs> peeing for a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> peeing on purpose. May. <laughs> Peeing me. <laughs> Pee your pants, me. <laughs> uh, Everyone wear your no, NASCAR No, don't get this shit on August. Just do pee on your pee your shit pants. Shit on August. <laughs> shit. shit yourself. Shit, shit yourself. September. <laughs> hey, don't forget about Sog. <laughs> shit on August. Poop your shit pants. September. Oh my dude, god. I totally forgot what I was just about to say. Oh, dude. Okay. It's like speaking about pissing on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like I, when I was in Vegas, I don't know if I said this already. When I was in Vegas, there was a fucking. We went to this mimosa place. Did I say this? No. The, it, okay, we went to this mimosa. It's like a like it's like off the strip, hole in the wall type joint, but it's like like big on TikTok or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. Amber's like, we gotta go to this shit. We went there. It was cool. The food was good. And it's like just all these different types of mimosas. But like then like this guy came in. They have like this 10 minute mimosa challenge, right? So you get this big old goblet. Like, but it's <laughs> huge. Like it's I don't even know how it's to like explain. It's the goblet of fire. It's about a gallon, it's bro. It's like a gallon. This shit mimosa. is like this big. And if you drink it in under 10 minutes, you get everybody's meal on the table free. Easy. And he came with like a big group, like at least like six people, right? Right. This motherfucker, bro, downs it with like three minutes left, bro. What? He was just like, <laughs> like, dude, he was going in. But this is the thing. He finished it so fast. He passed out right after. No, this is the thing. He looked miserable. Like he kept going to the bathroom. Like I'm assuming to pee and maybe yeah. throw yeah, up or something. Like, dude, he looked awful like his homies were all eating enjoying the meal and shit like, <laughs> the, the waiters would come they're like because everybody was locked in when he was like doing everything and then he go, he won go. and everybody was like yeah like even i was kind of like good yeah. shit dude the rest of the time he was just like <sighs> <sighs> like just breathing well he got them fucking a free meal you know yeah, what I mean? and then, like, like the waiter would come by it's like are you you know are you ready to eat he's like <laughs> he's like well like just let me know so it's like nice and hot when he cut when it like comes out yeah. and shit and he's like i don't even know we left bro this dude was just standing <laughs> <there>. like, <laughs> who knows <laughs> free if he could like have the room for he, one he, he, no, he, you know what i would have done I, even though i we didn't eat before we left i said just i want this put it in a bag to I'm, go. Take, I'm taking it you would have peed yourself and died that's no what because you i, I would have said y'all go to the fucking strip you got a free meal on me. I'm going to go to the room and recuperate. Seems, eat this fucking meal. See, the thing. They bring it out, and it seems like it's doable. Yeah. But, like, I don't think it is, bro. No. That that dude no. pulled pulled off, like, a Herculean I don't think challenge. any of these, like, food challenges are, are doable. Just just for those those elite food competitors. You know what I mean? Like, what's his name? Matt Stoney. That guy fucking eats. Some dude just ate some big-ass steak. I don't know. I think I misread it, but it seemed like a 75-pound steak or some shit. 75-pound <laughs> steak? Have you seen the 75-pound steak? That's that's heavier than a baby, Jeff. Okay, the baby. Have you seen the cereal right? challenge? He, he, he ate a calf. <laughs> he he ate a whole fucking he was, calf. He was just chilling like, yeah. yeah maybe yeah. 75 ounce? 75 ounce, maybe. 75 yeah. Ounces, 75 yeah. pounds is a fucking lot of I steak. I think that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what Peggy Hill took down in King of the Hill. <laughs> A 75 pound no, is 72. Oh, oh, okay. And he had to eat it in like five minutes, 10 minutes or some shit. No yeah. way. Oh, no, that's insane. No way. He was like eating it good, bro. He was like I, uh, munching. I, I like, tried I to do like a burger challenge and never did that. I like, never went through. I'm not like, a challenge guy. I did, yeah. the, I did the triple king. I the accomplished that? the triple king at Fat Burger. Yeah, the, yeah, that was insane. What do you yeah. get? What do you get for that? It's a, like a t-shirt. It's like three. I don't <laughs> nothing. You get like you didn't get shit. I didn't get anything. Oh, no, no, They're supposed to put your picture so, on yeah, the wall. Yeah, but they, but they, 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 they didn't even put my picture. It was like nine thirty p.m. They're like, you know what? We're okay. It's like a Wednesday. They're like, look, bro. <laughs> so I did this for the picture. You did it. Here's your money back. Get the fuck out of the store. I, I, I want to go home. I remember that that was like probably one of the most miserable eating experiences just because like after a certain point you're like how big was it no homo <laughs> <laughs> no the burger was massive i don't even know how how it's like three like yeah it's three quarter four patties. patties or something yeah. like that so after a certain point you're literally like just like chopping Does it maybe they have like onion rings in there or something like no no it's like just the burger but it's massive it's Absolutely, man. It's like a pound of meat, like after they cook it. Or I don't know. Like it doesn't that. like that big. 
Yeah, yeah. It doesn't it's, look awful. It but doesn't look It looks crazy. doable, like that mimosa yeah. shit. It, it looks doable, looks, but I, that dude was miserable. And I'm, here, <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, it's doable, but like to the average person. Like it, you're not going to order that like just like no, for. No, and you're going to, and you are going to suffer. Like, I mean, I, I got, might starve myself for two no, days. I got through like half it. of that. That's like, like I would and say that's like, four, and fries. that's like four burgers worth. <laughs> Like if you can take down four to five like regular size hamburgers, oh definitely can. That's for you. But other than that, you're gonna be so, like halfway through. I was literally just like well, I could, if forcing I could eat, it down. Mean, like my normal. Esophagus. What do you mean burgers? Like a Big Mac or like a like a like no, a like a, like real, a Whopper? Yeah, like a Whopper. Yeah, like four, four Whoppers. Yeah, like oh, if no, you could take no, down no. like four Whoppers. I thought you meant like. Like four ju- uh, junior jumbo jacks at, no. at, 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 at uh, Jack in the Box. No, no, you thought it was like two all. quarter pounders. No, it's like four <laughs> legit burgers. Four like, quarter pounders. No, like probably like three to four. Yeah, somewhere between three and four quarter pounders. Dude, I would not be able to do that, bro. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. I, I have you better know. chances of killing that mimosa thing. But even Maybe. that, dude, I feel like yeah, I, could, lip, I feel like I could drink. More. I could drink it. But then I thing. could eat. I would fucking pass out and throw. Yeah, up. you're not. You're not. I'm telling you, it's just you're not comfortable unless you've you're, you're like a freak of the. There are people, you know, super skinny people. Joey Chestnut, huge metabolism. Yeah. That are just putting it like some guy. No, but those people die like, because off, they, they put their body through so much. It's not because their body is like that. Well, no, this, they train this their body guy, to be that way. This skinny guy at the Fat Burger location oh. had like like six or seven patties stacked up for his challenge. While you were there. No, not while I, I was know. there. <laughs> while you were who you're telling no, no, me. Fuck you, he's, he's like, you're, a, you're a bitch. <laughs> no, he's on, the, he's on the wall of fame. But Jason looks disgusted. He's like, Believe me when I tell you, like it is, it is a sin. <laughs> like gluttony. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I committed I mean, is, a sin that is, day. Like actually. I was just literally <laughs> forcing like the burger just to. Is that go a combination of lust and gluttony? No, Wait, no. You're lusting, you're lusting over that meat. You're lusting no. over well, that meat. Pause. That big it's, meat. No, it's 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 masochism. <laughs> it's, it's masochism, masochism. At a certain point. Nah, I'm not a big challenge guy. I don't think I've ever even tried no. attempted. A Have challenge. you seen the cereal challenge in Las Vegas? No. Yeah. What's that? I hate it's, cereal. It's like, it's like four boxes yeah. of cereal and like one gallon of no. milk or something. Oh like two my gallons. god! Yeah. And people I are would... like, "Oh, I totally got this. I love Fuck cereal so much." No way. No. And they're sitting there looking like idiots with like a ladle and like a pound worth of Lucky Charms. There's a a fuck oh, challenge. That. Oh, I'm down for that. I might kill that shit. Is a it a fun? group? It's like is it's, it a group challenge? No, it's just a by yourself. Group? I mean, I'd be down. No, I'm not. Down. Super down. with y'all, bro. No, it's Super like down. a big ass bowl. It's like got a pound of noodles and and and. Oh, no, I would not finish that. All that and soup all gets that. me really full. Yeah, it's got a lot of fucking liquid. The in thing it. is, I get hungry because like, you're doing two a, a things after though. You're, I, I, I get a drinking challenge and an eating challenge, but the soup you're doing both. You're doing drinking and eating because you have to finish that broth. Every time I have a good soup, like a good bowl of pho, like I'm full for like three, four hours, but then I get hungry again for sure. Yeah. For it's sure. always like that's that. why you gotta eat like at eleven. Yeah, so and then you have pho for dinner again. Or no, no I'm saying you eat 11. pho at eleven, and then you'll be good for dinner, like for something to eat. Yeah, you know what I mean, like mm-hmm. I love yeah. pho. Me too. Yeah, pho's a good thing. I think that's a good way to to take a little segue. We'll take a quick All break, right. and then uh, we'll be back after this after a little bowl of pho. Dude, I feel like a lot of people are saying that the fucking fires in Hawaii start from like drone lasers or something. Well, that's what they're saying about the fires in fucking Paradise uh, too. Yeah, they said that. I actually saw that just right now. Like when I got here and I, I was like yeah. talking to Jason about it. Like I was on the Reddit conspiracy forum just because I'm just like you know fucking just, just diving searching into that. shit. You know, just out some interesting flat Earth laser vibes. You know exactly. <laughs> but we, we got we got. Our- All right, guys, welcome back from the break i was gonna say the pee break but anyways from the break we before we go any further in the podcast before we get any deeper into our tangents before we go into the fucking rabbit's hole eh? <laughs> um, we, are we, you alluding <laughs> We, we, we got to talk Is about that a nugget <laughs> we, we got to talk about this past friday our trip our our unlucky specialist summer summer i'm changing it i'm kind of cutting it off summer tour not summer bar tour we're gonna do it summer tour we made it out to mcleod's ale brewing it's mm-hmm. that's what their their actual like name is right mcleod's ale brewing yeah yeah great spot a lot uh, a lot of people not a lot of people more people than usual yeah we had a little we had the little uh 
tailgate behind us. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we filled up a whole table there. So shout out to the to couple the people my that came out. Showed out. Yeah, uh, came my, some of my family came yeah, out. Um, Amber came. Amber came, and um, then the fucking Matt showed up late, bro. Were you there when he showed up? No, I left already. Yeah, no. was, Matt showed up like we were about to close out. He showed up like. <laughs> Like, 11th hour type business. 11th hour straight up. Just like Matt would do. That. Typical Matt move. Yeah. As but, field correspondent Matt <laughs> is wont to do. <laughs> Typical Matt move. But um, I like, you know what? This is the thing. I will say two things. The beer is fucking great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the beer. And I, like I love the, the pizza. The pizza was good. Did you get a slice of that? I got a slice of the pizza. I thought it was really good. I thought the so, pizza was pretty, was really delicious. So remember we had a criteria before, right? Mm-hmm. We we're trying the beer. The vibe, the food. Oh, so we're doing like kind of like a, a bar and vibe, a bar and grill vibe. Mm-hmm. So beer, the vibe, the food, the aesthetic of the place. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So what do you what do you what are you giving out of one through five McLeod's the beer? The beer? I like their selection. I like that they had like a, a nice like uh sours and ciders going. They had some good shit yeah. too, but you know, overall, I, I, you know what I do? What I will say is that they're an actual brewery, so it's right. not like fucking taps that's like has like multiple different shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, different shit from multiple different places. All right. They're actually brewing stuff. So like, I and will, they have like three different like collabor or not collaboration, yeah. but other people that they're featuring. I like their, uh, their IPA. What was it? Uh, like, it's like fucking some crazy ass we, the hazy one no it's their oh. red it's like their strong ipa it's like have a long day or oh like, yeah yeah yeah. Or like yeah yeah freaky ass day i had the the hazy which is the calvert cr- crush I, i'm terrible like i i'm so bad with names for that their ipa but that shit was fucking delicious and you could like at least for me i could have a good amount of them and i'm just like chill and post right. it and i like that and I, it, and I, I felt like i i also felt like the the percentage that it said on the on the the board wasn't the same that you were drinking. I didn't feel like I was drinking a 7%, or at least I wasn't feeling that way. You know, when I left, I, I wasn't drunk, and I had, like, two, three beers. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. like... No, I think their percentages are just about right. Like, I feel like you're getting with what you get. Like You think so? Yeah, so, because, like, I think, like, a 7%... I think they're a little lighter than what they, what they said. You think so? So I would give their beers a solid 4 out of 5. Mm. Okay? I was going to go 4.5. Okay. I like their, I... Like, I, like, I I give them that extra point five because they brew their own shit. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah, I, yeah. and I and I like it in terms of like the vibes. I feel like people were kind of like just keeping to themselves. It seems like it's a it's, it's every, family friendly. Yeah, it's got a spot friendly. where you could play. Like that's um, a plus. Like it's like they're very they they're very like there's a legit spot. Not that you have to stick to that spot, but there's a legit area where like people had their kids and you could tell like yeah like there's games, there's cornhole, but there's other like puzzles and other yeah. things for the kids because there's also Another spot for the adult kids, which is there's yeah, uh, the foosball, darts and, foosball and darts and, yeah. and all, all that stuff. You know what I mean? So I think the the like it's I, just all kind of to me a little separated. You yeah, know what I that's mean? That's the like, only thing that I will say that it's like very separated. It feels like not that you're in three, you're in three different th- places. Yeah, yeah. Like it feels like you're three different bars or three different breweries. You know what I mean? Even though you're at the same place, and that's like kind of going like what's the like other criteria basically? So it's. It's beer, a food, and and vibe. Uh, beer. I said four. Who, who even knows? I don't even. Aesthetic. Fuck aesthetic. aesthetic. So aesthetic. is this like vibes and aesthetic? No, is aesthetic it? is it's the place how it looks, what it has, things that that attract okay, you so to like the vibes. The, it was three. It was like in three different places, but I feel like everybody was really chill. Everybody was hanging out. Yeah, like the no, vibe of the spot. Like nothing, nothing. Like it didn't feel like. You didn't no, fe- no, no fights were gonna pop off. It didn't feel like anything like yeah. tense. It was really dope. Like like we said, you could take your kids there. It's a good. I feel like it's a pretty chill place. We like were loud it. and nobody was telling us, "Hey, keep the fuck down." Because sometimes people would say, "Like, oh, it's too family friendly." Where people were like, exactly. "Oh, you're cussing too much." Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no, and it wasn't like that no. at all. We were saying fucks I everywhere. Like you know like what I mean? Real, like, it's like a real cool place or like. Maybe you could go like on a first date, second date. You take your girl, for sure. you take your wife, or like go out for on a Friday. It's like get really some pizza, get, get some get some beer. Exactly. So it's I, a great I, neighborhood so spot. It's a per- it's, great it's in neighborhood. Heart of the neighborhood. Terrible parking. Yeah, awful parking. We're I not gonna, the, even though we didn't put that in the criteria. I hate the parking. Terrible I, parking. I've always hated the parking in McLeod's. Yeah, I, oh, like, that, that's why I, I mean, Uber there. You gotta like, know going into that street. You either you Uber there. 
or you're gonna drive uh, down the street and walk over there. But yeah, no. doesn't it feel damn good when you just get a get that get a good nice, VIP? Oh, fuck yeah. nice right you across fuck. the street. Little, <laughs> I fit exactly, here. I little, fit here, and then you're so like, you're like <laughs> doing an eleven move, like like yeah. kind of like exactly parallel park in there. Exactly that. You but behind this Toyota. On the vibes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again. Four point five, bro. I like the vibes. I the vibes were cool. like I, actually, I you know, what? I'm gonna go four just because I felt like that three separate places shit was kind of like I, I i'm more of a because, like i want to be around everybody i want, I want a want big me. area you know exactly so I, I was also gonna give it four because of, that was gonna give me that took away the point five for me i was yeah. gonna give it four point five if i could if i could easily be where we were sitting and go to the darts or like go to like you know it's not that it, it wasn't easy there's a there's a hallway for sure but it just makes it just, i i we're, we're, we're nitpicking. We're here. nitpicking here, and, that, and we're allowed. Cause it's fucking sick. I, I I I would go again. I liked it. hundred percent. But so where, for, where, where does the pizza put you guys at? That's what I'm saying. The, the food. Pizza, that's, that's the next the criteria. Pizza, we all, sadly we only got we got two pizzas, but they were both the same. Yeah, but they were both fucking the. There was the the fact that it was the same, and they were both like. Just Amazing. I'm going to just give the pizza five out of five just off that one. Five out of five. Off that one pie, bro. Off the, off the pie that we got in the beginning where my cousin gave it to us, it had already been sitting there for a while. It wasn't even hot yet. And that's the one I tried. And it was still amazing. They you know what I mean? Jay, like, they gave Jason one fresh off the press. And that's what I hope. Because it took a while. When I left, that's why he was so pissed. Like, when I left, he was back in the line. Oh, yeah. He's like, what the fuck is my fucking pizza? I've been waiting yeah, like an hour and a half. They totally yeah. forgot. They, did. they kind of forgot it. Yeah, which forgot. which well, we won't knock them for that. You know what I mean? It was hella I'll, busy. I'll chalk it to that we ordered the, the same pizza and they thought that they already, already gave, gave the pizza to us. Probably. Yeah. The, we'll, we'll chalk it up to that. I'll chalk it up to that. And it was hella busy. The line was like, oh, dude. That's so. If I'm say that's the only thing that i didn't yeah, like is yeah, that yeah. that line was like stupid like you had to like kind of like gauge it like okay is this wait the till, time? wait till a oh, good time to go and get another beer but you know that's the only thing honestly besides the food was the, the pizza was fucking bomb beer was good vibes were chill good enough like good environment and like only thing my only complaint is like the parking which is like they can't really do nothing about it and the line like was a little like od but so we're giving him an 18 out of 20 is, is, is what yeah we're i'm gonna go 18 out of 20 bro because that's that's the we do five uh, all around four categories yeah. we kind of give them fours fours all around 18 out of 20 stars i'll uh, 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 i'll score with clouds. i gotta go get the, la the last time i went was no. like probably like 2016 it was dope definitely Whoa. changed i have changed it's sure. changed since then for sure it's it's more honestly they added the food right i don't think they had fruit they didn't before. have food they used no, to have food they had trucks. pizza no they had no food i before. remember clearly when you guys would go there you guys sam the pizza or maybe they just started making pizza when you guys stopped going there because you guys, you guys used to say that all oh, the pizza there is amazing. You guys should go. You I haven't been the there in a cool ass minute. But um, anyways, I feel like this spot is more of a family, mm -hmm. homey kind of like feel to it. You know what it I mean? It seemed like they also had that like vibe of like they definitely got their regulars. There's that right. more, uh, any place they got that, a darts league. They got a foosball league on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it feels very like. Local family. It's definitely the local watering hole in that area. One of the dudes had a strong ass fucking dude, mustache. Dude, he had like an 1800s like, presidential fucking mustache. Fucking dude was just going to be a I, I, Ada. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was like just, the whole, like, he had like the mustache going into the beard, into the lineup. Just, just, just like, just like down right. Oh, my Fun God. Fact. It's like powerful. Fun fact McLeod's used to be a chop shop. Really? Like yeah, they I converted it from a, They say it on the website. Oh really? According okay. to their website, they converted it from a chop shop to a brewery. So that kind of tracks. There's like a bunch of you know like uh, auto. Yeah, like, it's like in an industrial area. Yeah, yeah it is like, a lot of yeah, it is a lot of auto part places yeah. and a lot of auto places. Are they that. Irish or Scottish? Is is that no fucking a distinction? Clue. No clue. Because they say they're like have like British and British inspired. But I feel like there's definitely there's a lot of like an Irish or Scottish vibe. Right. Had, I had one of their like old school type ale type like I don't know. It was definitely some shit. It was like the 1886 ale or some shit. That shit definitely tasted like it was from it's like Scottish. They do have Scottish food from time to time, like haggis and stuff like that, right? 
Haggis. I'm but, d- yeah. I'm done, I'm done. No, straight up. Like, like Shepherd's Pie. Haggis. Pi- what Shepherd's <laughs> Pie. What, what, what the fuck is You don't know what Shepherd's Pie is? No, what the oh. fuck is Haggis? Haggis oh, it's, is it's like a, a uh, like sheep <laughs> intestine or something like that. No, a blood sausage. A little three pie? stomach. Something like that. Something like that. Isn't it blood sausage? Probably. I'm going to hit a big pájaro for some I'll tell you what, though. The Scottish. Big pájaro with some fucking. The Scottish folk per capita also at McLeod's. We're, so, we're, so who's the European Mexican? Is it the Scottish or the Irish? How many? <laughs> who's the European Mexican? How many Scottish people did you ever meet at Scotland Yard? None. Yeah, zero. <laughs> zero, probably yeah. zero. I was, it's <laughs> no, I didn't think nobody was going to hear that. I was just like, wait, wait why is everybody looking Unlike at me? Unlike is a big fan. All cultures, all right. We love the Scottish people. Shout no, out. No, no, I would just say to Scotland. It, it, yeah, for no, sure. No, no, not anything. It's in support of what Jason you said. Jason doesn't have not. to like edit this part out. Like, <laughs> yeah, we love the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast juice. is so send the juice like as in, like gin and juice. We love the juice. <laughs> <laughs> we love fucking oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> and out, and besides that, this podcast is very Semitic. Very, very. <laughs> not anti. <laughs> We're not, we're not pro, anti anything. We're fucking we're pro, 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 pro semitism. Pro life, or not pro life, pro, pro Zionist. Zionist. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we oh my don't, God. Don't, don't sign me up for the Zionist <laughs> project. You feel me? <laughs> Did you guys watch Nathan for you? Oh no. my gosh. No. But before, before we, get, we into, get into that, yeah, let's save that for another episode. Before we get into Nathan and to you, we got to talk about the lasers. The that Jewish just- space lasers? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, but like, this is the thing. That, well, that's like, I remember like originally, I, like, I, that I, was I, I stupid, believed it if that, that was, was the first. Like, that was like the stupid <laughs> meme, like, originally, right? It's like the Jewish space laser. It's like, what the fuck is this? Like, is this like an Israeli space laser? Like, but anyway. Dude, I feel like a lot of people are saying that the fucking fires in Hawaii started from like drone lasers or something. Well, that's what they're saying about the fires in fucking Paradise the, too. Yeah, they said that. I actually saw it just right now. Like when I got here and I, I was like yeah. talking to Jason about it. Like I was on the Reddit conspiracy forum just because I'm just like you know fucking just, just diving searching into that. shit. You know, just out some interesting flat Earth laser vibes. You know exactly. <laughs> but we, we got we got our fan hold base. Hold on though, I just. Came up to some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you believe in the flat Earth and in the space lasers? Is that do they cross pollinate? Does space exist? If you're a flat earther, no. Right. You you were you were in here for the flat Earth discussion. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll that was one of our most popular which one? topics. Which one? I feel Just like the first, the, most, <laughs> the only there's one. Been, the there's first, been more than one. In, in oh, my there's right there's only been one. There's been more in person. Yeah, maybe it was a sidebar. Yeah. No, I know which one you're talking about. But anyway. I, don't even, I don't even know. I he don't even know. He got the one where we're like Xing out that bitch. And I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon to, to see that one. Nah, but, there's been uh, space lasers that have been burning according. down the, no. the island of Maui. No, the island of Maui. And this is the thing, bro. I'm on the real no real news no bullshit real no podcast <laughs> real news no bullshit telegram right yeah oh the, the telegram the, bro. T- the telegram so you get like crazy ass fucking vids bro you're not on the truth look at this shit just look uh, at this Discord, shit though or what that's the fucking like it looks like someone dropped a bomb on that shit bro yeah look at that fried ass that's dog what fire dog, does <laughs> Sounds oh, like that's shit. a fry, fire does. Right? <laughs> was that a dog? It was. No, yeah. but see, like this is the thing. Like I'm, I don't, I don't believe that it's like actually lasers. A but bomb it, would it, would it fucking have just. Yeah, but that that, that one looks be... like the aftermath of a bomb. Right. No. I, what do you, I'm so, not saying the, that it is a bomb. I let, so, I, like the, the, where my it, point is exactly where, you the, let, just no. Let, go. I, I guess where we should get the premise or what 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 the fucking idea of laser the okay. space lasers did. Well, this is kind of the thing. And the, then the, I'll give the, my point on the, it. The theory is this, right? That there's fucking lasers either in space or from drones that are controlled uh, by juice. <laughs> that are fucking burning Maui, right? But the thing is, the way that they say, it, I haven't seen pictures of this, is that the burns are very like straight lines. Like it's like very like 
like in lines right. and stuff. And right. also like there's this there's there was this big aerial shot which I actually did see where it's like you know the helicopters flying over and it's like the beach right so it's all these umbrellas and shit uh-huh. and they're all burned and the, like everything's like dark but there's like this like little section of like blue umbrellas that's not burned at all so mm. it's like they're like unscathed right right and like i get i didn't see this video but according to like the person who's telling me this that they're on like that that some scientist yeah right who anybody could be a scientist right like it basically, I got a fucking MD. Basically, is it that son of a bitch Jeff Kuritz again? <laughs> Who the fuck is Jeff Kuritz? <laughs> <laughs> New York Times. <laughs> New York Times. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck Jeff Kuritz, bro. All the homies hate Jeff Kuritz. Who's <laughs> a straight whore, bro? Anyway, <laughs> the fucking uh, sounds like I drank all my beers. No, <laughs> did I get the golden ticket of the Modelo? Look, look. It's one of them still oh, one's a Miller Lite. One one's one's of them is a Miller Lite. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the fucking space <laughs> lasers, bro. Let's <laughs> go. They switched you out, bro. Bro, you went, ca- you went Caucasian and thought you got the golden ticket. <laughs> He's like, Holy Walker, I can get a limited beard. <laughs> anyway, back to this fucking shit. Basically, this guy has like this laser that burns shit, right? Right. Like just a small version of it, right? He has right. like a little laser. So he's burning like all these like cloths of like different colors, like a red one, like a white one, a black one. He's red. but then he gets to the blue cloth and he can't burn it. Like it's like not burning. So they're like that's like proof that it was a laser. And also, this is the only part, right? I don't know. Shit, I don't know fucking laser technology. But the, w- w- okay, I'm just explaining the theory. Okay, this is the only part of it that I actually do prescribe to, but not because of the lasers i they're basically saying that like uh companies like blackrock uh, a lot of like big real estate companies and rich people they're buying a ball of property for cheap on the low now that it's all burned down and they're like basically just like pushing people out of those areas right and i'm like resorts and shit resorts or just other different types of properties, right? Like different types of shit. And I'm like, BlackRock's known for that. They've bought a shit ton of real estate on like low prices, basically like those big like billboards that you say like, oh, sell your house as is. Exactly. Gentrification. Well, sounds like the 70s in New York. Where I'm not not getting this is the whole, oh, it it burnt into like, you've never seen a grid system the way they they build houses on a grid right also yeah, fire fire skips yeah. too like that umbrella shit like it, it, i don't believe that because like fire goes over shit like it's and, not and, gonna and also even... fire does go straight through shit right yeah it does so there, there will be squares right next to each other where those houses were because it burnt straight through it did you guys hear how high the winds were though Right. See, that's did, also part of it. Did you guys hear it. that though? It yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was just so. It was just for the it, viewer. It was, it was, it's, it's, a, it's a freak of nature. It was eighty mile an hour wind. So these are like strong, strong gut. You know, you yeah. we would get a wind advisory. Well, we we, we were getting for the, winds this strong, the, on top of the fact that there was a devastating fire. So this is like the perfect storm. And the hurricane had already been forming beyond before in the pacific before then who knows what the that what that carried over in 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 winds over also, to also in terms to of like that whole like like just like laser conspiracy and like black rock buying up real estate i feel like it's like it's been you, going on before the no, fire and you know what i mean no, like, but this is the thing though like you can like believe that there was a natural disaster and a fire and winds and also believe that some big ass corporation is just going to take advantage of the moment. Like well, they not, can't buy, not they that can't buy, they not have that, to pay out people not to, that, to that, like that, get that property. Course, not still. that that's good. I'm not saying that that's good, but I'm saying of course they're going to do that. Like right. I'm not saying that's if, good. If I was a rich fucking person and wanted to be buy that property, I no, would. Well, if you, you know, were BlackRock, you would, right? Like right. if you Breaking were, news, Sam has no business scruples. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's like right. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of times people are like looking for an excuse for crazy like events. Like right. shit looks crazy. Like they said it happened in paradise, but no one ever says shit when like fucking the hills are burning and fucking like in the dry brush. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's with, like no one's like oh, unincorporated it's space areas. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I don't know. And also, I feel like, I don't know, like, do we even have the technology to have, like, a satellite laser? 
I'm gonna go ahead and no, say. No, I mean we, we do. I, so. I feel like we have that, that technology for Absolutely. sure. So if you think they have that technology, well, I don't. Well, see, this is the thing. This is where it gets tricky, right? Like if you believe that they have that technology, and you you can't assume that the government wouldn't do certain shit because the government in over time has done a lot of shit. Corporations have done a lot of shit. Right. Like when Chiquita Banana fucking hired paramilitaries to fucking just kill people in the right. fields. When fucking the U.S. government did the false flag in the Gulf of Tonga to go into the Vietnam War. Like, it's just multiple case after multiple case. Like fucking uh, the... The fucking when they were smuggling cocaine to fucking uh, supply the Contras with weapons and shit, the Iran Contra mm-hmm. scandal. Like it's like the government has done a lot of fucked up shit. So it's not. I'm not saying that this proves that space lasers are burning. Maui. I guess I, I don't want to believe that it's true. All right, I want to it, believe it, it's true because then it like I I wish it was true just so it could be like no. I just don't like, believe that it's, the, the lasers is true. I just think it's too verifiable. Space lasers? It's too verifiable. Too verifiable? Yeah. It's too... No, no. It's it's too too obvious. Yeah, exactly. It's too verifiable to... Yeah, too obvious, too verifiable. It's got... It's too, like... For it to be the the case. Let's say we do have that technology. But the government does a lot of stupid shit. No, but let's say we do do have that technology, right? And there is a satellite roaming around the fucking uh, Earth. And we have a laser. There's got to be a documentation. And yes, there's... the, The government like delete shit but there is this whole there's got to be checks and balances there is a, somebody there that works there that would would have fucking leaked it right well that's why like uh, that's what i was about to say that it's not even checks and balances it's actually the incompetence of just like government it's or, like there's so the com- much no, or the competence of human the human race yeah, just, like you know that they were doing some shit somebody and with it's how easy we have twitter or x sorry um or or social media on our f- fingertips. You don't think somebody it would have like? There's people leaking shit all the time in the military all right, and so all that thing. This, this, podca- they this goes perfectly with, like some shit that I heard the other day. It was in, uh, in the Bill Simmons podcast, totally right. unrelated to conspiracy shit. Uh, but they were talking but, about this thing called the the. Well, yeah, he's super into conspiracy right. theories, but like just discussing them. It's like it's this thing called the trust triangle. Right. Right. So like, if me and Matt have a better relationship than you and me and you tell me something don't tell matt yeah you better believe i'm gonna tell matt for sure because i'm 100 on the triangle our end of the triangle is like i believe more that, i believe is stronger that, right yeah. so like but if jason and matt have a better relationship than me and matt on that end of the trust triangle if i tell matt like don't tell Jason some shit. He, he's going to tell Jason just because yeah. they have a better relationship. Right. So it's like the concept of the trust triangle. Obviously, not, that's not always true. But that's just the concept of the trust triangle. So if you put in the concept of the trust triangle, someone in BlackRock has a good uh, relationship with someone in NASA or someone in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. Or the Space Force. Or the, yeah. Do, right. wouldn't you, if you believe in the trust triangle... They mm. they they could mm. keep the secret, right? I'm just throwing it out there. So maybe like only one but or two people. It doesn't have to be that many people. Like this is the thing. This is it's my human theory. like nature to just slip up. One hundred percent. But like, this is like my theory on the CIA. Like people always act like the CIA is like this one force. But no, there's many departments in the CIA. Right, a shit ton of departments. Mm-hmm. Like the guys who were involved, a lot of the guys who were involved with Iran Contra were not the same mm-hmm. guys involved in like spying on the Russians. Right, right, or it's the like, Americans, or the Americans. Right, it's like two. It's like multiple different people. So like you can't just be like, oh, the CIA moved fucking cocaine. If into fucking Nicaragua and right. flooded into the street. I don't even know how, exactly how it went, but it's like no certain individuals in the CIA did that. So right. you could at a, at the same time believe certain individuals in BlackRock or in set. Don't sue BlackRock. Will fucking shut the studio now. Hundred <laughs> percent. They'll fucking buy the studio and kick us out. And Everybody and build this. a space laser exactly. from this fucking <laughs> podcast and just burn our each of our houses. They're where we live. Burn it right yeah. now. But whatever fucking corporation. Anyway, if there's like a fucking corporation, it want, like certain individuals in a corporation, certain individuals in a certain agency, they could make. They could definitely collaborate on yeah. a conspiracy. Not theory, 
like conspire to do something. Yeah. I'm not even saying it's a laser. I'm just saying just in general, like that shit happens. And like that's why conspiracy theories happens because we like people say all this crazy shit because those those things happen like Jeffrey Epstein, that was real. Right. right, like that was some. And real, there's a whole real uh, story behind that. That was some real shit. Like he I said, did, even yeah. though they, you're not gonna, they're not tying around the actual people, like the the other important people that went to that island and See, went to, you know what I mean? Exactly. They're it's gonna tie like it all to him, him. or what happened in his jail cell. Exactly yeah. that shit. Like, did he commit suicide right. or did he get fucking off? It's like this is the thing. Maybe he wanted to commit suicide and someone just made it real easy for the him. most the most secure right. prisoner. In the United States, <laughs> committed suicide and successfully was, manages to unalive himself yeah. under constant supervision. Yeah, cameras were down for some reason. Yeah. Oh, for, for some, some reason, reason. Yeah. the guys yeah. walked away for some reason. It was a yeah. space laser. It's it just like, space. yeah, it, it for was, some reason he had some, enough to, to uh, somewhere to hang himself see, for some reason. And like another good example is like that Bush did nine eleven shit, right? Like, oh, like I, it's not that like the government did 9-11 like they didn't fucking plan that shit and do the plan i think what's more than possible is that they had an Search idea of they had an idea of like the possibility of attacks sorry and then something happened that they oh, were not ready knocking. and then they found out well, who was involved because it's a fact that high levels of the saudi government were funding those fucking terrorists and the saudis oh, fucking were the biggest purchasers of their oil Fun fact. So it's like, yeah, you just start thinking certain shit. Like yeah. the, the trees start going out. I don't know if I'm all the way on the laser side of it. I but feel I, like you're, you're you're deep in lasers. You, no, I feel like you might want to believe. You got the, n- I do lasers. I'm a, I'm de- I definitely want to believe because I think that that's why people think that shit is because shit is other shit does happen. Well, let's. This is a good time to talk about just belief versus just scientifically backed proof because. Sci- mm-hmm. The scientific method completely discounts belief. You 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 cannot believe or disbelieve in something that involves the scientific. And what's method. the sci- what's the scientific method? You're, you're looking up the facts, right? It's, yeah. it's the uh, it's the question, the hypothesis, right? Right. Right. The uh, what is it? The uh, the, the experiment, for right? The data. <laughs> Right, yeah. the conclusion, and then if you get the data, sometimes you form a new hypothesis, right. and then you kind of. Kind Keep of going. Re- yeah, it's just a cycle. fucking cycle. That's yeah, what science but, is, right? It's science, like a whole bunch but, of like, but it's proven, fundamentally disprove. based on proving on, and disproving, exactly right? from a from a skeptic's mindset exactly. specifically. So you're you're basically like until your hands are tied, you do not support something. Like, exactly. You're like you're like exactly. this may not. I cannot unequivocally 100%. prove that this is true. Or false, I. But the evidence right, right now here. supports that this is true or yeah. this or is false. false. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think like, but yeah, you know, I mean, I just think it's like very interesting that like you, you know, what the most interesting thing is is that I, I I'm always interested in how people get attracted to like those ideas, like mm-hmm. how like, and I think it is because I feel like because of this whole the the pandemic and everything that's happened, I feel like it's been easier for people to. to it's to, always been like that. No, no, it, it it has, but I feel like it's been it's more. more. It's more now because we've all been not all, but there's been a, a, a lot of us in during that time stuck to a screen or another screen or oh, yeah. or a, to to get our information because we we didn't get it any other way. We didn't get it by going out and by doing ex- experience. We were shut in. You know what I mean? To just listen to these these theories right i'm gonna i'm gonna break it down for you guys so basically now this is coming from i gotta give credit to the wonder years great show on abc check it out the new uh, one yeah the reboot, the reboot. Say, yeah, yeah 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 it's it's also great show the old yeah. one so the wonder years there was like this moment where they're like watching the moon landing and the main character's dad was like how do we know that you know all this is not staged this and that and it's funny because the commentator is like you know, back in the day, we didn't have all this news. We just had a crazy uncle or a dad or a cousin who, you know, had all these conspiracy theories. So coming to this day and age, guess what? That's just gone viral. Mm-hmm. Right. You've, you've got your Fox News. You've got your other news outlets where one person that people have kind of bought into, they're like, hey, this crazy stuff is going on. And right. guess what? It's viral now. It's 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 not just your uncle that you're like, Psh. 
It's crazy. No, it's like your your uncle, your dad, and everybody's cousin who's who watched the same newscast on yeah. you know Thursday. I think night. it's like good and bad at the same time. Absolutely, it's 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 actually not inherently good or bad. Yeah. It's, it's just a tool that exactly. that is manipulated by certain parties. Um, you know, to get people. I to, think it's uh, good. I think it's good subscribe that subscribe to a certain are, certain uh, what is it? A certain belief system. Right. I think it's good that people are skeptical and don't always just buy the narrative. But I also think it gets dangerous when like you don't just believe in anything. Like you're just like, always like on the whims of like whatever's happening. Like right. you gotta like stay like grounded to like reality because it's like you like it's like Matt was saying. It's like you know like all we know for a fact is that there was a fucking fire. In Maui, right. and a shit ton of stuff burned down. There was winds, the fires happen all the time, fires skip. There's a lot of logical explanations for shit. Like, right. and you don't need to jump to a conclusion. Hey, but it's exactly. all, but it's also true that you don't need to buy the actual conclusion that's fed to you. Mm-hmm. You can think a little outside the box and like I and don't think know, for yourself. This is a little suspicious. This is a little fishy. I don't know if I believe this. I don't know if I believe that. It just gets dangerous when you buy it too hard on both sides it's yeah. like you're just gonna believe the official narrative or you're gonna believe the fucking reddit narrative or the fucking 4chan narrative or whatever like right. you just gotta make your own opinion and kind of just like i don't know opinion but you got to base it on facts exactly. i feel like like i, don't even I feel think- like when you know when you start going into the whole your own opinion yeah. that's where you start going into the conspiracy theories exactly. at all i feel yeah, like that's exactly if, where if you yeah. if you base your your what your opinion is on what is fact and then people's like what is fact then then when we start questioning facts that's when we start all going down a fucking rabbit hole, right? Yeah, but home, I think right? it's like you can say like what is fact because what you know for a fact is that there was a fire, right? That's well, no, a fact. you can't really question. F- that's yeah. what makes it that's a, a fact, fact, right? right. So there's it's, a it's, fact. It's verifiable a, and to a certain degree, there's a fire, unquestionable. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. what makes it a fact because so shit really is question. burned down, right? That's why there's a fire. That's why we, there's a fire. So we can't because there was ac- people exact, saw that actually exact, there, was exact, there was a fire. There was flames, right? Flames that's that burned down a house. That's a fact, right? Everything, yeah. That's a fact. There was wind. That's a fact. Right. What people are questioning is how did that happen? That's not a fact. You don't know how it started. Well, well actually, yeah, exactly. actually, they, ABC. They, I mean, yeah. this ABC is, News. Yes, ABC News. See, but that's the type of shit. It's like, how do you no, know? No, that it's, 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 it's not. It's not. There's one hundred percent out there that knows exactly because there's people. You can't say that people don't live on the ground, don't know fuck that don't know exactly how. Right, but the this fire is a sor- started. I'm, like, I'm giving you, know you a I mean? so- like, I'm giving you a source that you can follow up on. This is what I'm doing right now, and this is kind of where it starts. Because mm-hmm. if you just you know give a blanket statement like, oh, that's how what can you trust journalism? How is can about? you trust this and that? I don't think that's, you can. I that's mean, kind of where like, I don't think you can. That's kind of you're falling off like the deep end right. conspiracy because you have to start with a. A, a reference point is what it's called. Because, so you know, my I, reference, if we question my everything point, that's going on in life, then why are you why why are you doing everything that you're doing? You know what I mean? Like I, I think it's healthy to question things, but again, yeah, it has yes, to be yes, in a is. healthy manner. So well, the I'm healthy giving manner the is that, that weather happens, right? It's like fire and wind in that cause and like now it's just a natural disaster. Well, what that's I'm saying is that you we could all agree. On. You can choose right. whether you you know want to believe the reporting, which was. That there was a fire that started from um, like a power line or mm. like a power plant somewhere like that that ended up spreading. So that's kind of that what sounds the, plausible. No, absolutely, yeah, right. that sounds absolutely. Very plausible. But 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 this is the reference point that we have to work from. You know right. what I mean? Like other. And there other, will be people that theories? investigate it that if there was any foul play involved, if there was anything like that, and because there's. It's, independent sources that go out there exactly. that's not you know what i mean it's like one thing like exactly like like i said you can't jump from like a fire and wind to space lasers you guys want right. to you guys like, want to know like, what a what a spicy conspiracy theory is right now in hawaii there is like this guy he's, he's not enough sriracha he leans he leans right he leans that's right <laughs> he's like yo yo where are all the kids at there are a bunch like he's saying that there's a bunch i'm not saying i subscribe to this but i i it did intrigue me he's like yo where are all these missing kids at you know from the fire that's that's what mm. his platform mm. is right now human trafficking um, is real no 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 but like this is something that's certainly plausible you know there's a huge disaster there's not so a lot of accountability right missing now missing kids in terms of space this. lasers and missing kids are real 
Yeah. <laughs> also, this is the thing too. Like, no, you know, they, you, yeah, it's you know real what's everywhere. fucking cra- you know what's fucking crazy though. Like, they're like just kind of like veering off this topic, but kind of a similar shit. Like a conspiracy, like but an actual conspiracy, not a theory, like a conspiracy between individuals, right? Like we're conspiring to do some shit. Wow, okay, it's like that whole like that serial killer that got caught in like New Jersey, right? Like he killed like yeah. You guys haven't been like keeping up with that no. shit. It's like. I think it's called like I forgot. It's some beach in New Jersey. He's like a architect. He's like this big hotshot architect, and basically he's being caught up, like being blamed for like four or five murders. He's like a serial killer. Like I forget what the beach is called, but it, yeah. but basically there's like the theory that basic cause that it was a group of them, right? Because all these bodies, there's like at least like eleven bodies. A group dumped. of killers. Basically, like they were like just like club. killing, they were killing prostitutes and like yeah. shit like that, and like wow, they're like fuck. and like they would like all partake in that like fucking thing. Like that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like people do conspire to do shit, and like that's like is like like you can't put it past people to conspire. I'm saying like you obviously you're not gonna jump from like people conspire to do shit to people are using space lasers to burn right. Shit. Okay, okay. Like, but I'm just saying like people do. Do terrible shit, and they people, there is yeah, of course. People be do. I think the conclusion here is that people, people be doing conspiracies exactly for right? sure. That and they're not people do verifiable be facts. Don't believe what you hear, and you gotta trust. Trust, the trust but verify. Like you said, but you, you can gotta, only trust the unlucky specials. You can be skeptical. Be skeptical. <laughs> be skeptical of doctors. the news, and also be skeptical of that theory you're hearing on the fucking internet. You just gotta be fucking like, just think for yourself, man. Not, not a big and fan tr- of Reagan, except for the amnesty business. But uh, trust but verify. Trust us. Trust but verify. Trust me, bro. No, us. Just me, bro. Unlucky specialists. Us. <laughs> trust us. Nice, trust the nice. U.S. It's trust. Yeah. Just, there you go. <laughs> the U.S. There you go. Trust America. Little you know, I'm a CIA agent that just trying to like feed that to the masses. Fucking you know what I mean? It. You know what's a huge conspiracy? Carrots. Carrots. There was and a, we're, we're gonna save it? that for another time, <laughs> Matt. Because because. <laughs> um. We were gonna talk about the MMA. I don't know if we want to get into that. I or... mean, fucking Sean O'Malley is oh, a yeah, fucking we, champ, we, bro. We, we got yeah, to, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, Sean yeah. O'Malley is a fucking champ. Knocked Al Jermaine Sterling. People called him a paper champ just in general because he won. Right. Like, he got the title off the fucking well interim title. Well, basically it was a no contest, but he got that rematch with Peter Yan off that like weird like a knee to the face while he was on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like illegal. So they always people were always kind of hating on Al Jermaine. But then yeah. he beat Henry Cejudo, and he beat a couple guys, and everybody's like, oh, shit. I think Sean O'Malley, he's a, he's a weird fighter to me because it, he's a, he's not a boxer, but he's definitely he's a striker. Yeah. Like, he's definitely a full-on striker. Like that's he's a, not a, like a kickboxer he's either. He's not a kickboxer. He's not a wrestler. Yeah. He's not a grappler. He's pretty much, like, the type of guy who, like, I saw the clip we just saw. He had good takedown defense. Yeah. Like, he was defending the takedown, and he could just fucking throw hands. Like, that's kind of... Yes. He's kind of like Nate, but, like, Nate was, like, ready. Like, Nate, Nate was, was a brawler, a, but, Nate like, was yeah, a he, brawler. Was, he was a He was just scrapper. Yeah. Like, yeah. And Sean O'Malley seems like, a, like the evolution Exactly. Wow. The evolution yeah, 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 of yeah, Nate. That's a high compliment. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but this is a really high compliment. Also, though, also, though, Nate Diaz could actually fucking... He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Like, that dude could submit yeah. you. I don't know if Sean O'Malley got that. But in terms of, like, the scrapping-wise, like, right. he's ready to fucking get in there and, like, but be a little smarter with that it. That takedown, that 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 not, that not right hook to the face just that brought down yeah. Sterling. Off it, that it, lunge, off that yeah. lunge. He, like, he left... Like, that's why, like, a lot of... Like boxing, like yeah. pages, because I've been following a little bit of boxing more recently yeah, was, ever since the Terrence ESPN Crawford ringside, yeah, exactly, all that shit. Yeah. By the way, boxing is super racist. Like if you go into, <laughs> if you go into, if you go into oh those my comments, God. Bro, it's a whole bunch of black dudes and Mexican dudes going just at talking it. shit like yeah. racially for yes. sure. Yes. I'm like, yo, this is like the last. This is where it lives. This yeah, is this where, is where racism lives, lives between black. Uh, black yeah. <laughs> no, it's just letting it fester. If you, if you are triggered by any type of shit, do not go into a boxing page. Any forum, any yeah. boxing pages comments because yeah, no, you're no gonna way. see a lot. You're gonna be like, what the? All black people hate brown people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brown people hate black. You're, you're gonna walk away thinking that yes. you're gonna be like, hold on, let me yeah. not believe everything I read. Ex- <laughs> ex- going back to our <laughs> uh, topic, but yeah, fucking 
you know that's why a lot Shut of bo- a lot of b- boxing people don't fuck with like MMA like because like the thing is like Al Jermaine he just left he went in for the lunch because he was going kind of going for that takedown slash dodge and his face is just yeah. wide open a boxer would never do that yeah. shit he'll never lunge forward like that that fool was like literally like lunging because he was going for the takedown yeah and Sean O'Malley just pow, yep. cracked him. I don't know. I, I don't know how Sean O'Malley. I didn't, I didn't like, watch the fight. You you got you bought it and you, yeah. you hung out. I feel like outside. Sean O'Malley is like the type of guy. He said he's gonna be the champ till twenty thirty five. Wow. Like, wow. I'm, okay. I'm like I don't know about that, that's, buddy. That's the, yeah. I'm like I, you, I don't think that's he some had, serious talk right there. I'd like to see him try. I don't yeah, know if he has sure. all the tools for, to all of our benefits. I love that that video he put up afterwards. He's fucking uh, smoking a joint. With the belt on in his, you can tell it's in his hotel room. Just yeah, like, he seems like a chill guy. He seems cool, but you know, you know, I don't know if he's gonna be champ till twenty thirty five. Winner of the battle of the box braids. For <laughs> real, for real, pink for real. braids, bro. He got the pink braids, bro. Yeah, but yeah, was, man. Was, I mean, in terms fight. of sports, it's pretty much it, bro. I don't even know, bro. I no, know. we're gonna have some special guests coming and talk with like like the playoffs and in in in, in, in baseball coming up. The Dodgers are up like twelve games on the rest of the NL West, so we're gonna have to slow down. We, yeah, we're gonna we're going we're going into September, so that's the the, the time where it's ramping up for the playoffs. Yes. We're gonna have people come in and talk about that. We're gonna have more guests coming on the, onto the podcast. Yeah, we're planning some some guests. We're lining them up right we're now. We're lining them up. We're, we're gonna have some new content for y'all. We're also gonna pick not a, yet. We're gonna pick a new bar. We've we've narrowed it down to two or three. Yeah, we we, we haven't picked the next stop. And yes, next stop. The next stop, it's happening. At, uh, of the Unlucky Special Summer Tour, we will release We want to pick the right place. Exactly. We want a place that everybody, like, if you don't drink beer, you might be able to come here. Right. If you like beer, you might be able We're trying to make it a little more eclectic. Enjoyable. Yeah. And for everybody there. It might so, not be the Valley. Who knows? We might hey, steer away. We might veer away it, a It's going to be L.A. It's going to be, be L.A. LA. No, we're going to fucking Kansas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Alaska, we're people. Going yes, to, we're, we're going to Omaha, Nebraska and kick it with Terrence Crawford, Fuck, bro. Yeah. We're going to Maine. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, this fool wanted to go <laughs> Actually, to still, his bachelor party in Maine. Still do. I want to end the podcast. Allagash Brewery and in Maine. Else. There's, there's this actual Air, Airbnb. And, and lobster. That there's an Airbnb tight, in Maine though, where you get uh, 14 acres. And on the, some of that the acres, they have uh, 18 holes that That's you can play Sam all day long. Came. Exactly that. That's how you exactly should have came, bro. And you fit 18 people in that house. But a, little, you did. a little preview, I guess. We could either chat about it tonight or or catch up with it next week. Yeah. Was Stephen A. Smith right or wrong about Lonzo Ball? Did you see that video? Yeah, I saw that video. He was right. Because that fool was barely getting out of yeah, that he scene. Yeah, he was like, he was like, I, it's like, it's like mm, yeah, you look like, like you're about to tip I over. Like, I was like, can you? Can you? <laughs> you look a little weird. Can, yeah. can we all say, like, God, God bless Lonzo Ball. We all I hope wish he, that he is, is really in ship shape for the NBA season coming up. We're all he's wishing the best on him. No, he's going to miss all next year. We, we totally they already yeah. ruled him out. Yeah. We totally agree with Stephen A. We totally agree, reluctantly so. But the thing totally. is Real quick about Stephen A. Excited about Stephen A and Sh- uh, Shannon Sharp? No. What? It's, it's Shannon Sharp? I thought it was, uh, no, no, Richard Sherman's going to Skip Bayless. Shannon yeah. Sharp's going to Stephen A? Yes. Damn. Confirmed. It's happening. Shannon Sharp, Stephen A on first take. Dang. Stephen like A. Like a couple making... days a week, I think. Yeah, they're going like, to. No, he's going to be the main. It's like... every. I heard it was a couple of days. Can we. Oh, we, we might. Well, yeah, because they, yeah, they saw like Michael Irvin. And they, yeah. they do debate. That's yeah. He's going to get like a feature. Shannon Sharp. Damn, to, Stephen to A. Take. Smith is a power player, huh? Yeah. It's about time. Yeah, he is. For sure. Damn. So somebody cancel fucking Skip. They, Anyways, they cancel Skip. No, I said please cancel. Oh, no, it's, it's, it takes her. We need the controversy. We need. Yeah, we need like, the, what are the Powerpuff Girls without Mojo Jojo? He, okay, so sure. once he once that's true. Once, that was the fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> once LeBron retires, then Skip retires. Right? He's got no one to like really harp on. Like he'll he's find somebody start, else no, who's African American, single he's, parent. He's it's gonna fine. start hating. <laughs> Guarantee you, he's gonna start hating on Anthony Edwards, Luca. He's no, like, Luca, yeah, no. yeah. We, we all know why he's not hating on Luca. Lucas Eastern Gander. Lucas Eastern European. He's not white. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's, Luca. He's, he's a he's a slob. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that my my thing. Uber driver in Scottsdale looked exactly like uh, Nikola Jokic? Oh hell no! Nah. Exactly like him. No, way. I even told them. I was like, 
I'm sorry, dude. Do you get this? Do you get? You, this I know lot? you get this a lot, but you look exactly. Like, and he's like, he's like, yeah, you know, what? we're we're saying I'm from the same country as him. I'm he's from, like from the same from like Serbia? ten blocks. Yeah. Right. How big is Serbia? It's like what? Like, Serbia is like smaller the size than Los no, Angeles. Like small. Yeah. Serbia's like the Burbank. size of Bakersfield, bro. Bakersfield. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's it's not even insane. They're like probably cousins. <laughs> and somehow they made and a he, great basketball player. And he looks and he's tall as fuck. I was like, is is fucking Nikola Jokic? Loading my golf clubs is this in his Nicole, car. Yes. Is this Nikola Jokic's brother? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. But anyways, for another day, it's been a good podcast, guys. Make sure you tune in on Instagram, on YouTube, on that, all that shit. Jason's got it all here. It's your boy Sam Torres. It's your boy Jeff Deban. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Matt back in the cut, the first guest. All right, we out <laughs> here. We love y'all. Peace. Shout Jeez. out to Libby App. Whoop. What the fuck is Libby at?